In this video, I'm going to explain to you the concept of the prime and composite numbers. So how do we know if a number is prime or a number is a composite number? Let's start with the concept. Prime numbers are the numbers that you can only break down into two factors. So that is just one and itself. So for example, the smallest prime number is 2 because 2 can be expressed only as 1 times 2. Although this is equal to 2 times 1, there are only two factors of 2 that is 1 and itself. And 2, as you will find out, will be the only even number that is a prime number. Okay. So what about, let's say, number 4? So 4 is not a prime number. So this is not a prime number. Simply because 4, although it's 1 times 4, it can only be, it can also be 2 times 2. So we have the factors 1, 2, and 4. And by definition of a prime number, a prime number will have the factors 1 and itself. So we have 1 and itself. But there's another factor which is 2. So 4 is not a prime number. Okay? And even if the number gets bigger, the same principle should be applied in identifying if a number is prime or a composite number. So since 4 is not a prime number, we name this number as a, so this is an example of a composite number. So if a number is not a prime number, it is a composite number. Now, although it seems like there are just two classification of numbers in terms of being prime or a composite number, we have two numbers who are exemption. And that will be number the number 1 and the number 0. So these numbers are special numbers, and let's take a look at one, uh, each one by one. So these are special numbers. When we say special numbers, they are neither prime nor composite. So they don't belong to the set of prime numbers or the set of composite numbers. Now, if we go back to the idea of prime numbers, the only factors of a number to be a prime number is itself and 1. But in the case of 1, so it's, it's 1 times 1. So, we might say 1 and itself, but 1 and itself is just one number. So, we need to have two factors, and that is 1 and itself. Okay, two different factors, but not the same factors. So one will not qualify as a prime number. Now what about zero? In the case of zero, zero can be expressed as zero times one, it can be zero times two, it can be zero times three, and this will not stop because the numbers, the set of numbers is infinite. Okay, so you can like you cannot list down all the possible factors of zero. So it's not a prime, it's not a composite number. Therefore, we simply say that one and zero are special numbers. Okay, so basically that's what you need to understand about prime and composite numbers. So how do we determine prime and composite numbers? Okay, now let's expand the idea. Let's talk about some bigger numbers. Let's say let's pick a number 57. So if we wish to determine if 57 is a prime number, 
we need to check if the only possible factors of 57 are 1 and 57 and that we can only have 57 if we multiply 1 and 57 so maybe so you might suggest okay so let's investigate maybe 57 can be divided by 2 but as you take a look at it 7 is an odd number so 57 is an odd number and you cannot divide 57 evenly by 2 so 2 so 2 is not a factor of 57 so we might check what about we test it by 3 so is 3 a factor of 57 so if we divide 57 by 3 so I have 1 and then 3 2 and 7 so 9 times 3 is equal to 27 okay so this is remainder 0 so that means 57 is equal to 3 times 19 which makes it a composite number because you already have other factors aside from 1 and 57 so 57 is a composite number So just for you to get an idea on what I'm trying to do here is that to look for the other factors. So we look for numbers that can divide the given number. And if we are successful in dividing it by a number other than 1 and itself, then it will no longer be or we cannot classify it as a prime number. And sometimes it could be difficult when the number gets bigger. So let's say if I will ask you to identify whether 121 is a prime number, if you're familiar that 121 is 11 times 11, then you already have an answer for it. So it's not a prime number because aside from 1 and 121, you also have 11 as a factor. And a prime number can only be or can only have a factor which is 1 and itself okay so let's make it harder um, if I will give you 148 now so if you recognize okay if, or if you're familiar with the set of even numbers all even numbers are divisible by 2 so 2 is already another factor Actually, all the even numbers, except for the 2, because 2, as I said earlier, it's the only even number. It is a prime number. So every time I give you an even number, because this is an even number, you automatically know that the number is not a prime number. Okay? And you will observe later on that most of the numbers that we will be testing, or like all, almost all of them, these numbers will be odd numbers because they can like uh, uh, can be confusing they will look like a prime number where in fact they can be divided by a different number say let's try 257 okay this might be a little hard to identify so first 2 is not a a factor of 257 because it's an odd number so we follow the same idea we try to check if 3 is a factor of 257 and if we multiply we'll get 8 times 3 24 and this is 17 but 17 is not exactly divisible by 3 okay so 3 is not a factor actually just to give you an idea there is actually a shorter way of identifying whether a number is divisible by 3 so that you can easily check and that technique is when you add the digits of a given number and they would sum up to a number divisible by 3 the number itself is divisible by 3 so if we test 2 plus 5 plus 7 the sum is equal to 14 but 14 is not divisible by 3 so the number 257 cannot be divided by 3 Okay, so then we test uh, by the next number. We don't use 4 anymore to test. So we can go to 5, although 5 can only divide numbers that ends 
in 0 and 5. So it, 5 will never be a factor of 257. So our next option would be 7. So 257, we divide it by 7. So this is about 3 times 7, 21. And this is 47. And then this is about, say, 6 and 42. So there's a remainder 5. So it cannot be divided by 7. And then we check. So uh, you don't need to use 8. You don't need to use 9. So let's say 11. So 257 divided by 11. So we have 2 times 11 is 22. We have 37, but 37 is not exactly divisible by 11. Okay, so this is what I was trying to tell you. So as the number gets bigger, it, it, it will become more difficult to identify if a number is a prime number or not. Okay, now we, we could, I could like uh, spend more time on this checking. So I'm going to leave this hanging, something that you can check on your own. Okay, like it, is it really a prime number? Or a composite number some tips okay so we have been using uh, numbers 2 to check we tried 3 we tried 5 we tried 7 these numbers that I'm trying to use are actually prime numbers so to test whether 257 is a prime number all you have to do is to test dividing it or check by dividing by prime numbers and if you see a number a prime number that is a factor of 257 that's the only time that you'll say it's a composite number okay so I'll leave that to you as an exercise something that you could think on your own but again let let me remind you of the idea of prime numbers so let's just have a quick review a prime number is or a number is prime when the only factors of that number is 1 and itself. If that will fail, then we say it's a composite number. Now we have to keep in mind there are two special numbers and those numbers are 1 and 0. Okay, so they're neither prime nor composite. Okay, so if a number is not prime, so we call it a composite number. So those are the things that you need to know here. To test, and finally to test if a number is a prime number, we look for some factors by dividing it by smaller numbers. Actually, the best to use will be the smaller prime numbers. Then just check, make it bigger and bigger. So choose prime numbers as they get bigger. When you find one, okay, just one, you can divide the given number, then you can say that the number is not a prime number, okay? So, I'll be making other videos to show more examples on this, but in this video, we just concentrate on the main idea, okay? So, that's it, okay? So, that's a idea of prime numbers and composite numbers.